it was a lot of things that was trying to keep you stagnant. Matter of fact, you need to transfer into this energy. So right now, I'm gonna be putting out workout videos. These workout videos is gonna like literally disperse any stagnated calcification blockages that's in your body. So if you're watching this channel and you want to mentally, etherically grow, make sure you guys subscribe to the fitness channel, yo. I've been mastering the, like basically science of kinetic energy. I studied kinesiology, right? And basically it's just, I just took the easiest course that I didn't have to put too much studying into that still relate to what it is that I enjoy doing, which is the body. I always love the body, right? And I love the body because it allowed me to escape the brain. If I wasn't able to escape my brain, there was so many variables. There's shit right now. People watching this video right now that's trying to put the evil eye. But it's because I'm able to release that calcification. I'm still here right now. I guarantee I would not be alive if, if it wasn't for fitness, if it wasn't for you know, kinetic and utilizing, you know, body movement and releasing like pent up emotions, y'all. I'm telling you, you have no idea how crucial it is. Look, if you're going through emotional imbalances, if you're going through dark night of soul, if you're going through karmic regression, yo, work out. I cannot emphasize on that enough that at the end of the day, these individuals are trying to hurt you. You have individuals that do not want to see you prosper. They don't want to see you grow. They don't want to see you expand. They don't want to see you not be reliant upon them. Okay? This is some very demonic Satan, like crazy shit, yo. If you guys resonate with this message, yo, show some love in the description box, yo, a buck to yo, all goes a long way because, yo, this is serious. This is so real and more people need to become more aware of this. So if you are like vibrant, if you allow yourself to be yourself, if you are creative, if you are high vibrational, if you are working on self and growing inside of self, meaning you're prospering from inside out and they can see your growth. And that means you need to have this. I guarantee this will save your life if it ain't already saved your life, yo. I'm being real with y'all. This is so powerful that everybody needs to be doing this. They even wrote about this in the Bible. And you know the Bible, they don't really tell you nothing that you really need to know, but they tell you your temple is your way to the Holy Spirit. Your temple is your kingdom of God. And without your temple, how can you access the kingdom of God? Meaning you got to go inside of this, however way see fit. Because everybody's different, yo. This is about to be so crucial. So look, y'all going to want to check out this workout channel. I'm about to teach y'all, matter of fact, how to oxygenate your body. Get it? Basically, think of it like this. Oxygenate is your body's probably, hmm, I would say... 40%, right? Meaning 40% your body allows blood flow. Your body allows micronutrients to transference. 40% your body's open. And this is me being generous because sitting down in the car, not walking, eating stagnant food, not stretching, so, 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 so. And especially if you ain't getting chiral sessions. If you ain't getting popped and broken in and released stagnated energy blocks within you, then you are so black. I have to do this like five times a day, especially when I come in and interact with a person. Yo, let me tell you a quick story, yo. So I'm walking out the gym, right? Yo, well, matter of fact, I ain't walking out the gym, but I'm walking on the side. I'm in the far corner, right? These weird cats, they come by me. I noticed that, right? I already moved like four or five times, so I'm just like, you know. Dude comes right by me and faces his, you know, his self towards me. And I don't want no other dude in my, let's say my arm space, okay? That's kind of weird to me. But when they're doing these weird hand signals in there, trying to see if you look her that means it's up to something it's like he's trying to do something without having me notice so he's doing these hand signals right doing his hands and then putting it every time he walks by he puts his hands out towards me it's so weird bro every time he walks out he just puts his fingers and i know what he's doing he's opening up different monitors he's trying to steal energy okay i already know i already know okay so i'm blocking i'm shield i'm chill i'm like return to center 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 right but it took me a minute to catch on to it. And he kept walking by me, like, like just walking by me, right? You know what I'm saying? So within a couple of minutes, I was going, I was on my way to confront him about like, hey, bro, give me a little bit of space, bro. You're being a little weird and I understand what you're doing just to call people out on the fuckery because unless you call them out on the fuckery, they're going to keep doing the same thing. Now, there's some individuals who will literally won't confirm or won't acknowledge it and they'll just start throwing attention. Rah! 
and they're great. And just they just want attention because they want to seem like they're right. They want to be validated as they're they're, uh, they're being honest. But that means that they're being a lie. So I don't I don't I don't approach those people. But this dude, I was about to approach. He already walked outside. I'm like, uh, oh well. Da, 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 da. So immediately I go salt, cleanse, flush everything, transmute everything into nature. Because when you give everything to nature, you're good. My point was that. <clears throat> It was those emotional imbalances that almost affected me. I almost let, well, I didn't almost let it, but I felt it. I felt the difference in my emotional state. You can feel your body like not being the same. Like it's like, it's like you're one way and then you just switch off. You got to clean yourself. You don't even know what's on you unless you've been broken in, fasted, cold shower, ice baths, and completely acu acupressure release, meaning that they go through and they flush out any type of parasite, scar tissue, emotional imbalances, anything. That's what acupressure is. It builds up accumulation of like, um, what's it called? It builds up a, uh, accumulation of like stagnation. So it's scarred and then stuff can't move because it's a bubble and stuff is blocking. It's basically blocking the flow of your life force energy. That's why you get old and get regularly and crumpled and stuff like that. So right now, you need to be flushing that out so much because there's so many things that's trying to stop you. And if you allow it to stop your vibration, especially this that's coming, this is not like any other thing that has ever happened. This is spiritual. This is etherical. Nothing else wasn't based off of that. Things was more monetary. Now this is energy, frequency, vibration than monetary. I'm telling you, you are a bill, you are a multimillionaire and you are almost a billion, which means that you're going to be, you're going to be, uh, you're going to be, uh, <laughs> you're going to be, uh, what's it called? Manifesting billions. But actually, this is already written in your cards. You're going to be, what's it called? You're going to be bestowed billions because God is putting you in that right space. That is why you have so many variables. That's why there's so many. Why do you think that it wouldn't be viewing you as a meal if you weren't freaking a billionaire? Yo, I'm telling you, that's why these people want you to get you discouraged. It is you. It is you who are the true wealthy billionaire. Financial, financial, um, I would say you are beyond people's expectations. So keep being you. It's you that don't believe in yourself. Everyone else believes in you. You don't believe in yourself. So start believing in yourself, yo. I ain't gonna lie, yo. I had to do this video because I was feeling down, yo. I was just like, man... I don't know. I was just, I needed to pick me up. And honestly, I'm giving you guys this message because I need to pick me up. This makes me feel good. Whenever I'm feeling stagnant, whenever I'm feeling like, oh man, things are moving slow. Whenever I'm feeling like, oh man, there's so many variables that's like want to see me fail, that's trying to go out and put death spells. These individuals are watching this video right now, but they're putting weird little rooms, little voodoo stuff, but they don't understand that they just, whatever they tried to send to me, they cause that on themselves. And I don't want to see any of these people in a negative, a low state, but they just literally by trying to harm me and me, I'm only trying to give them and show them abundance of love. And then trying to put death spells on me, going to pay somebody to get work done, to try to push or create my demise. When I have no intentions but to see everybody ride. You see, that is why you are who you are. Because no matter what, you still want the best of people. So keep being strong, yo. It's my advice. Cleanse yourself right now. There's so many things that are trying to put things on you. And unless you cleanse yourself omnently, consistently, yo, I don't know what to say. It's not going to be good. And actually, I'm going to give you a couple of things that happens. One. Your health starts to fail. Two, you start to gain weight. Three, girls don't view you as an alpha and girls ain't going to like you. Four, you create imbalances within your own life and therefore those have to come to fruition by karmic regression. Okay? You are only in the state you are in because you have to be around this fuckery. God knows you would not be around trash as trash if you wasn't in a position where you had to be around trash as meaning... If God would have granted you all these millions and abundance and fortune that is already yours, you would not have been around trash ass. There would have been no, no Decepticons. There would have been no chosen ones for Decepticons to feed from because chosen ones wouldn't have been around.
around those trash ass people. If you are a light, empathetic, high individual, you know what I'm talking about. You typically don't, you refrain from being around low mindset, uh, I'll say crabs in the barrel individuals, okay? And individuals are wondering, oh man, he's doing karmic debt. No, the chosen ones, the people who are shedding light don't have any karmic debt here. That's the problem. That's why they're so pissed off because they're not supposed to be here other than to help other motherfuckers rise and other motherfuckers won't rise. Excuse my language, but it's going to help other people. And because other people are so like just toxic and chooses to not look at the big picture data back statistics there's no hope you gotta let these people choose to wake up and do things differently on their own you see what i'm saying because as long as you keep you hold yourself back there ain't no time for no more helping you gotta just leave it alone because these people wasn't trying to help you these people was trying to hurt you, harm you, and keep you decrepit because they wanted you to be handicapped so that way they can control you and consume you and spit you out and tell you, hey, the streets is for you. You get me? I'm saying, yo, if y'all enjoyed this message, y'all show some love, yo, catch that paper. I do appreciate it, man. A buck or two all goes a long way. I'm saying, yo, but yo, this resonates with you. You already know who it is, all right?